Hey guys, happy Friday, it's Mike Chen. Just a short video to tell you that it's sort of a sad day because today, this morning, the Cassini probe, after sending one last batch of photos back to Earth, plunged into Saturn's atmosphere and almost immediately disintegrated. And as I mentioned in an earlier video, this probe cost us $3.26 billion. And in its 20 year mission of studying Saturn, it discovered six new moons, mysterious propeller objects in Saturn's rings. It got us pictures of hydrocarbon lakes on Saturn's largest moon Titan and found us an ocean of water beneath the icy surface of the moon Enceladus which although small appears to have many of the necessary characteristics for sustaining life. In all the space probe provided 450,000 images and 635 gigabytes of data. Now the reason why Cassini had to die was because it was running out of fuel and researchers could have kept it alive by maybe having it enter a stable orbit of Saturn or they could have landed it on the planet or one of the moons but researchers didn't want to have it eventually maybe crash into one of Saturn's dozens of moons or even land there because they didn't want it to contaminate alien worlds. So we had to say goodbye and send the probe crashing into the planet. So today Cassini project manager Earl May said at a news conference, this morning a lone explorer, a machine made by humankind finished its mission 900 million miles away. We believe we got every last second of data. And I really love this tweet by Neil deGrasse Tyson which said, farewell Cassini, how far you've come. On this eve, in fiery death, Saturn and you are one. VIP. Vaporize in peace. Also, before I end this video, I just want to bring up a lot of people out there are spreading the news that the world is going to come to an end in about a week. I mean, it didn't really happen in 2012, so, so I guess it's an inevitability. But according to another apocalyptic theory, which seems to be popping up every other day, the world is going to end on September 23rd. How precise? September 20, right down to the day. Anyway, this theory is called Revelation 12.1.2, which is a Bible verse that says, and a great sign appeared in the heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and on her head a crown of 12 stars. She was pregnant and was crying out in birth pains in the agony of giving birth. So because of this, many believe that the woman mentioned here is Virgo, and on that day, the sun, the moon, and Jupiter will be in Virgo. Of course, this happens every 12 years, but sure, next week, the world's ending. So a lot of you guys have sent this in to me for me to talk about, and, and I promise you, I do believe that the world will end eventually, and maybe even relatively soon with all the craziness happening everywhere, but it's not going to be September 23rd. So they'll keep going to school, keep going to work, keep paying them bills, because although I cannot see into the future, I'm pretty sure September 24th, we're all going to be here. All right, guys, have a great weekend. See you next week.